Hello, this is Father Randy Sly with another installment of Day by Day, where each day we take a look at a reading from Holy Scripture from the Daily Mass. And today is Tuesday of the 29th week in Ordinary Time. Today's also a special optional memorial for St. Anthony Mary Claret, a bishop. And so I'd encourage you to look him up and to see the ways in which God used him in the life and ministry of the church. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Gird your loins and light your lamps, and be like servants who await their master's return from a wedding, ready to open immediately when he comes and knocks. Blessed are those servants whom the master finds vigilant on his arrival. Amen, I say to you, he will gird himself have them recline at table and proceed to wait on them. And should he come in the second or third watch and find them prepared in this way, blessed are those servants. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, today we have, again, Jesus teaching his disciples using uh, a kind of a parabolic uh, motif. It's like a parable, but he, it isn't actually a whole story. But it's uh, likening uh, the disciples of that day and us as well. We can take this for our own benefit as well. Likening them to servants who were waiting the return of a master from a wedding feast. Now, a wedding can take a long time. Weddings and especially the re- uh, the reception afterwards sometimes took days. And so there was no uh, idea when a master might return to his household. And so the servants really have two choices. They could uh, uh, they can basically uh, gamble on the fact that he might be not, uh, coming back very soon and just kind of fritter away their time and goof around and Uh, You not be very vigilant and just let things kind of uh, go to waste. But there are the other servants who would be much more vigilant. They'd keep the house up. They would always be looking, looking eagerly and readily for the return of their master. And that is the group that Jesus wants his disciples to be like, to be like those servants who are waiting for the master, waiting eagerly. And so he uses two ideas there. He says, gird your loins and light your lamps. And gird your loins is kind of an interesting uh, example. It's kind of, a, 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 I guess, an image that would really be uh, clear to the people of that day, much less clear to us because we don't wear loincloths. We don't wear, uh, and we don't wear those types of garments. Really, what girding your loins is is taking the loose, flowing outer garment. You know, they wore long uh, robes, kind of like what a priest would wear uh, in the mass. For the white outer garment is called an alb, and those long garments were kind of tucked into the loin and tucked into the waistband and so that all that loose flowing material was tucked in so that uh, the person could run or do work easily. And so girding your loins was getting ready to do the work, getting ready to uh, be about the, the, the service of the master. In our case, continuing to be uh, servants to the Lord and the various things that he has called us to do. So girding your loins is being active, being uh on uh, task with everything that is set before us. And then light your lamps is another one. In other words, to be ready at any time. During the day, obviously, the lamps were not as necessary. But by lighting your lamp, you're, you're basically posturing yourself so that you can be vigilant and looking at any time, day or night. And this was especially true back then because uh, the doors might be locked uh, later into the evening. And so if the master comes and knocks, they want to be ready to be able to go to the door, open it, and let the master come in. And that's the whole idea of lighting your lamp is being ready and eager and aware and attentive at all times, even 
as we have in this little parable, uh, even into the second and third hour, which goes into the nighttime hour and down into the early morning darkness. And so lamps were ready and uh, loins were girded and they were at work being vigilant and waiting and watching for the master's return. So may the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts together be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Amen. Well, the takeaway, of course, is girding your loins and lighting your lamps, both of which are commands. And so uh, we're looking at uh, those two things as thoughts and ideas that uh, can help us to be ready for the Lord's return. And again, Jesus is talking about something uh, that to the disciples really didn't have much meaning at that time. But after his passion, death, resurrection, and as he anticipated his ascension, he began to unpack to them all of what it means that he would be coming again. So we're to be ready. We don't know when he will return. And again, before he returns, it could be that we will go and meet him at the time when we encounter death. Either way, we need to be ready to have our loins, uh, our, you know, girding our loins and also lighting our lamps, being ready at all times for when we meet him. And uh, being ready is doing the work that he's called us to do and being prepared in terms of keeping ourselves spiritually pure, spiritually strong for his return. So just think about that in your own life and Remember that uh, he is calling us to be vigilant at all times in our lives. So may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.